The United States is becoming less religious. Though still a predominantly theist country, the portion of the population that identify as nuns or not religiously affiliated has risen to 23%. And of these, about a third do not believe in God. This has generated much conversation about what it means to be atheist or agnostic. Well, it's difficult to say with certainty because the idea, the very definition of God is debated and interpreted differently. For example, the majority of Christians think of God as a friend with whom they can have a personal relationship. But many who still believe in God conceive of God as an impersonal force that does not have human qualities. For example, about half of Muslims and Hindus believe this is the case. Atheism is defined as the disbelief in the existence of a deity. But in order to refute something, that something must be clearly defined. So as you can see, the varying definitions of God or a godlike being pose a logical dilemma. But typically for our purposes of discussion, the definition of God tends to center around an all-knowing, all-powerful, all-good being. Thus, atheism tends to center around the rejection that this being exists. One common line of reasoning among atheists posits that if this God who is all good, knows all evil, and is capable of stopping all evil, then evil should not exist. So since things like murder and rape exist, God does not exist. But then of course, one could simply argue that God cannot be understood under our existing frameworks, that God is not bound by the same rules of logic as everything else in the universe, or that we simply do not have the equipment necessary to understand God. This is often where agnostics come along. They tend to argue that they lack the tools or knowledge necessary to make a determination about God or a godlike being. Agnostics can be further divided into two groups, weak agnostics and strong agnostics. Weak agnostics do not deny the possibility of God existing for others or in general, but simply believe they cannot determine this for themselves, whereas strong agnostics believe that no one can determine the existence of a God. This camp is more likely to believe there is a lack of certainty in certainty itself, and this idea doubt, however, is not unique to the U.S. Many Europeans, Canadians, and Latin Americans are also trending towards not affiliating with a particular religious group. But how do the non-religious compare to the religious when it comes to everyday behavior? Check out this episode on whether religion makes kids mean. We know from previous studies that we treat strangers and people we know differently. It could be the case that religious children are just as nice or even nicer than their counterparts if they know the person they are giving to. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.